Hello everyone. This video is designed specifically to help you make a wise decision as to whether you should take Calculus AB or Calculus BC. So let's get started. First of all, the prerequisite for Calculus AB or Calculus BC is Pre-AP Pre-Cal. And our overall goal is to prepare students for success on the AP Calculus exam. And so in this video, I want to First of all, share some differences between Calculus AB and Calculus BC. Second of all, give you some things to consider so that you can make a wise decision between the two courses. And finally, answer some frequently asked questions that you may have. First of all, a few differences between the two courses is that Calculus AB covers six chapters in our textbook, whereas Calculus BC covers nine chapters in the textbook. And so, the second difference would obviously be that Calculus AB moves at a slightly slower pace and Calculus BC moves at a slightly faster pace so that it can cover three additional chapters in our book in the same time frame as Calculus AB. Also, one of the major advantages of taking Calculus BC is that if and when you pass the Calculus exam, you can actually enter directly into Calculus 3 and you're exempt from Calculus 1 and 2 in college. Whereas in the Calculus AB course, if and when you pass that AP class, you will be exempt from Calculus 1, but the highest level that you can go into would actually be Calculus 2. Another major difference between Calculus AB and Calculus BC is that Calculus AB will require you to do approximately two to three hours of homework a week whereas Calculus BC will require you to do around four or five hours per week. A few things to consider when making your decision is first of all to ask the question, what extracurricular activities am I involved in? If you're involved in a lot of different extracurricular activities, whether it may be sports, theater, or band, uh, that's going to take up a lot of your time and it may hinder you from putting maximum effort and giving the amount of time that you need in order to be successful in a very, very rigorous course such as Calculus BC. So that may lead you to decide to take Calculus AB instead. Second of all, what is your academic workload look like? If you're taking five or six other AP courses, then you have to expect that those teachers are also going to expect you to do around an hour or so of homework a night in their courses as well. And so that could be four or five hours a night of homework, and that could be very overwhelming very quickly. A third thing to consider is what is your major in college? If you're going into something engineering based, then Calculus BC would probably be the best option for you. But if you're going into something in the business realm or medical school or even liberal arts, then Calculus AB should provide enough math background for you in college. Which leads into the next thing to consider is what do you see your career path being? Once again, if you see yourself going into engineering or something highly technical, then the BC course it is, would fit you perfectly well. Whereas if you see yourself going into something that's not engineering or technical, then the AB course would be a great option for you. A final thing to consider when making your decision is your grade in pre-AP pre-cal. Calculus is a major step up from pre-AP pre-cal. And so if you know that you had a very, very difficult time keeping up with the coursework and the rigor of pre-cal, then it may be a wise choice for you to first take Calculus AB and then consider moving into Calculus BC, perhaps in your senior year if you have that option. Finally, here are a few frequently asked questions that students will ask. First of all, do I have to take Calculus AB before I take Calculus BC? And the answer to that is no. However, there are a lot of students who will choose to take Calculus AB to get a strong calculus background under their belt and then in their senior year, if they have the option to do so, to transition into Calculus BC. Second of all, do I have to take calculus before I take Physics C? And the answer to that, once again, is no. You can take Physics C concurrently with Calculus AB or Calculus BC. And the final question that students will ask is, is calculus difficult? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. Whether you take AB or BC, it is a very difficult course that requires a lot of hard work, a lot of diligence, and a strong work ethic. If you have any further questions about which class you should take, feel free to contact Mr. Terry Walter who teaches Calculus AB 
or myself, Mr. Alan Parr, who teaches Calculus BC, or talk with your counselors at your school to make a wise decision. Thank you so much, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.